How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of a uh, Southern Swells hazies up in this piece in the form of their shortage. Get it? A little TP paper towel thing going in the background. I wonder if this was made recently. Uh, it's a Double India Pale Ale coming in at a... What is that? 8% alcohol by volume. Done and done. Yeah. I actually dig the label design that... Um, Southern as well as have been morphing towards a little bit more sleek, a little bit more modern, but I'm going to give you this little tidbit if you guys happen to be watching. You need to use either a better label company or whoever's doing this is doing it in like raterized <laughs> text or something because I can barely, I mean, it's going to be hard for you on camera, but I can barely read any of this down here and it's because the text has been like super blurry. Um... I don't know if that's on purpose or because if you do like you know, what I do, which is pretty much graphic design on commercial level, you're supposed to do text and fonts and all kinds of stuff and vector, not whatever. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, that should, should be clear to see. Unless they're going for that shady look, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, label-wise, like I said, I kind of dig it. You know what I mean? Poke a little fun at the little bit of shortage of TP, which is a bunch of hokey madogi. Um, COVID is on. It's very real, but man, definitely dump any kind of futures you guys have in paper towels or uh, um, toilet paper because that shit's going to go down to shitter. Well, uh, anyway, what does this look like? Uh, it looks like a big old hazy. Uh, it has a nice uh, kind of cataract kind of soft haze to the edge of it. A nice, tight, compact bubble head on it. Not going anywhere anytime soon. It's got a rich kind of fruit juicy kind of vibe, so definitely it looks the part of a new school hazy. Let's see if you get a nose. That's a super impactful nose right there. Wow. That's what I expect from an 8% double IPA in a new school fashion. I mean, it is just tropical fruit citrus stone fruit medley. Like, it is cranked to the max with mango and peaches and oranges and just everything's kind of dialed up like it's like a new england style ipa and msg it's probably gonna skew sweet but if this impact of the way those hops lean in that kind of uh, fruit portion of the show back up uh the sweetness it's probably gonna come off as uber juice there's probably a bittering involved in this but i couldn't tell you based on how not sweet again this how vibrant and fresh and impactful um, this comes off. And this is... How old is this? This is almost exactly a month old to the day. I mean, it is huge. Just fruit juice bomb all over the place. Fruit medley leaning into that tropical direction. Let's just dive in. Cheers. I like this beer. I like this beer. Southern Swells ain't fucking around, man. They're not. They're just not doing it anymore. Um... Man, it does come off super impactful, fruit juicy, but it doesn't get nearly as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not a sweet beer. It is, but it doesn't get overly sweet. Really nice mouthfeel to it now. Not going to be confused with being thick or over the top dense or anything like that. But it has this nice, sultry, soft kind of mouthfeel to it that kind of marries really well with that fruit juiciness. It comes off a little bit more legit, a little bit more authentic as opposed to just a fruit juicy beer there is a nice pulpy rindiness to it has a little bit of kind of green going on a little bit of danky green nothing too crazy but that little bit of rindiness that little bit of pithiness that little bit of greenness even though it is smaller than the way that sweetness kind of comes off it's absolutely a thousand times welcomed um to kind of keep this beer in check without getting too far over its skis and it is a two by four to the face i'm not gonna sit here and, and say it's just kind of nice for its abv no this is a big drinkable impactful in a very 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 positive way double ipa the kind of beer i want at this abv this is what this beer is yeah this is as good as what you get from the king shit of fuck mountains of the world this is treehouse level trillium level that kind of hazy that's where this beer lands it's just that good but it doesn't taste like those other beers too which is even another kind of added bonus to it Yeah. Impactful when it needs to be light, not as dense as it needs to be. It's kind of like very much tailored in a, in a way that I really enjoy. 
these New England style IPAs if they're done a specific way. And this is that specific way. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic beer. I think this is number two in a row that blew me away from uh, Southern Swells. I've talked about this journey I've gone with them from from uh, from beginning to now, and uh, and and their hazies were always fun, and I dug them. Some hits, some misses, but it's getting to the point where it's a lot more consistent, a lot more elevated, a lot more just what I dig. And uh, yeah, it does not suck. I don't know what else to tell you. Absolutely fantastic, world class level. Easy double IPA. What do you also want me to say? Is it one of the better ones? Yes. King should have fucked mountain status. Dare I say. Bagged availability. No idea. Carson, let us know what's what. Carson said this to me, by the way. I should probably mention that. I don't think I did yet. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. Um, if you like new school haze and you like the upper echelon stuff, that's where this beer lies. It is absolutely well done. Hits all the points I wanted to hit without getting overly sweet, without getting overly pithy, without getting overly green. Any of that stuff. It is hitting all... All the ticking, all the boxes, if you will, um, and doing me all kinds of proper. So, if you like new school haze, it'll probably do you proper too. So there you go, another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. Uh, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing? And you know, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, I'm enjoying a little haze right now. And hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.